Welcome to Cooking with Gloria. Today I'm gonna to show you how to prepare a Mexican traditional cantaloupe juice, as we call it, agua fresca. And I know that your family will love it and enjoy it. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my few ingredients. condensed milk, evaporated milk, sugar, a package of concentrated cantaloupe, water, and the star, my cantaloupe. And this is everything we need to prepare this delicious drink. I can't wait to start and show you the process. What I like to do first is do my simple syrup. In a saucepan, I'm gonna add sugar, and one cup of water and I'm gonna take it to the stove and we are going to dissolve this sugar I'll see you over there I'm turning my stove on I'm gonna add my saucepan and my sugar as you see it it's kind of white you could see the sugar on the bottom of the saucepan um, it's gonna be here for about two to three minutes until the sugar has completely dissolved but I'll show you that step. As you can see, it's not cloudy anymore. It, the sugar has dissolved completely. What we're going to do is turn the stove off, remove it from the heat, and continue with my recipe. I am ready to start with my cantaloupe. We're going to cut it in half and we are going to remove all the seeds. I like to do it with the spoon so it's much, much easier to take the seeds off. I'm going to do the same with both while my syrup is cooling down. Okay, I'm going to reserve on the side and I'm going to start with half of the cantaloupe. This is how I like to cut it. I like to cut it in two inches pieces so it's easier for my blender to blend completely. This is how I do it and it's easier and just be careful that you don't cut yourself. Take your time doing it. This water is so refreshing. You are going to love it. Okay, and we're just gonna cut it in about two inches. We don't want the pieces too big. Okay, and we are going to, I'm gonna add all my cantaloupe here and I'm gonna add my syrup. I'm only using half of the syrup. If we need more, we will add a little more. Okay, we're ready to blend. Okay. Okay, I have my pitcher here. We're gonna taste our cantaloupe juice. If we need a little more syrup, this is the time when we should add it. And it does need a little more. So I'm gonna add it here. To my pitcher, I have a little bit of water. I'm gonna add some ice. I'm gonna mix completely. And then I'm just gonna add to my pitcher. 
how beautiful this looks and it tastes amazing let's start with the second cantaloupe juice I'm gonna reserve here on the side and I'm gonna cut my cantaloupe in two inches pieces We want to make sure that we take all these green little pieces of the cantaloupe. We don't want to leave it behind. Okay, and let's start cutting our small pieces. Okay, we're going to add our cantaloupe. Here, I'm going to add the little package. I'm gonna add it here. This package gives the agua fresca such a great color. You have to be here, you have to make it, so you see. This is the evaporated milk. I'm only, only going to use half of the evaporated milk. The condensed milk, it's only gonna be half. We don't want this, this agua fresca to be that sugary. Okay, and we are ready to blend. Okay, this is ready. We are going to taste first and see how, how it is. Mm, 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 mm. This is perfect. Okay, I have my pitcher here. I'm gonna, I have a little bit of water. I'm going to add my ice and then add my juice. I'm going to add some more water. And this is ready. I can't wait to show you my presentation. See you in a little bit. love the most tasting my recipes I'm gonna taste first the one with the condensed milk and the evaporated milk let's see how it came out mm -mm. so delicious and refreshing perfect let's see the one just with the watermelon and the syrup Mm, 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 mm. both ways both ways are perfect and you have two options I hope that you could prepare this at home you could follow me on Instagram cooking with Gloria I leave all my ingredients in the description box if you liked and loved my recipe please don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up share my video on social media and before i say i see you soon i wish you nothing but the best peace and love may you enjoy bye bye